We're live, we're active, let's get it man. Like I said, if it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button. Second time here, hit the like button. It's your third time here, drop that joint. And today, we got another Mr. Ballin. We got top two sound fake, but wait, top two sounds fake, but is 100% true, parties that change. You know what I mean? Hope y'all are having a great day, being productive, all that good stuff. Moving towards the top of that mental space for yourself. Excuse me. But yeah. I'm happy to be back as always. I mean, for y'all, it hasn't been that long. But for me, I haven't recorded in a little bit. Um, So, yeah, got to get in here. School been kicking my butt a little bit. Not nothing bad. Just had some work to get out of the way. But, yeah, got that protein shake with me. It's time to watch a Mr. Ball video. I'm trying to kick back and chill, man. Hope y'all been good. Hope y'all been good. But I got to get straight into it because if not, I'll be here for three million years. But yeah. Yeah, I ain't got nothing else to say. But I hope you're doing good and stay safe. You know what I mean? Stay safe for real, for real. It's the truth is stranger than fiction. And today, I'm going to share two up. stories that demonstrate that. But before we get into Hold on. No, I'm getting straight into it. I'm skipping the like button joint. Hold on. I'm getting straight into it. Number two. Deer Crossing. Around 8 p.m. on December 16th, 2023, a 31-year-old man named Nestor Flores was driving down a highway just outside of Dallas, Texas, with both his hands tightly gripping the steering wheel. Kind of Nestor was smack. very stressed out on this ride. All he wanted to do was get home because he was worried that on this ride, he might get pulled over by police. I mean, this was a route he had driven a bunch, and he knew there were loads of state troopers that patrolled the area. And from his perspective, it seemed like they kind of pulled people over all the time. And Nestor had spent the night out with a couple of friends, and he had had a couple of drinks. You know Guys, stop it off, Rip. You stupid as hell already. Stop drinking and driving. You worried about getting home. Like, that's what I don't understand about people, bro. Hey, yo, what the fuck is good, bro? Because they just did this before. I don't care about that stupid ad. YouTube, what is good with you? Now, nah, we addressing that right now. YouTube, what's good with you? Like, I'm like YouTube, what's good with you? Like, there's ads everywhere. Ad just popped. I paused the video. Ad popped up on the right. Nobody cares about that stupid stuff that just popped up. What is good with you? They going crazy with the ads. But, yeah, I'll say it time and time again, bro. I don't understand people that go out and drink and drink more and drink more knowing you have to drive. If you know you have to drive, you know you're going to be at a gathering, say it's a dinner. I'm going to drink one drink and know after you got to wait at least an hour for one drink. That's what they say, at least an hour to go drive again. But even more so on that, I like to go on a walk after I eat. You know what I mean? Help digest, look around, see where we at, you know what I mean? Enjoy the scenery, enjoy life. But I don't know what's up with people that choose to drink, then go drive. Then you want to be here, you want to be here and be nervous. Talking about, I've taken this road plenty of times. The state, So you know state troopers be out there, the troopers be out there. And you still had the conscious, stupid decision to say, I'm going to go drink and drive. That's why I'm saying. People do stuff to themselves, bro. They acknowledge the wrongs and still do it and hope they get lucky. Just do the right thing. People be blowing me, bro. Make sure I'm recording. No, he didn't feel he had had too much to work. Oh my, drive. you don't feel it. He knew if he did get pulled over, you know, he could be in trouble. And then on top of that, you know, in the back of Nestor's mind was the fact that he had had a couple of minor run ins with the law over the past couple of years. And so he kind of had this fear of police already. And also, Nestor was not born in America. And so he was worried that on top of all that, if he got pulled over, you know, he could risk being deported. And so well, you got all these factors. Why is you doing this? Any police officer, he just wants to get home and go to bed. And so as Nestor is doing his best to not draw any suspicion to himself and is trying to follow all the rules of the road, he decides to have a sip of his Diet Coke. And his Diet Coke was right in the middle console. And so as he's driving eyes straight ahead, he reaches down and he grabs the Coke, he pulls it up, he uncaps it, takes a sip. But then as he puts the drink back down, again, he's keeping his eyes on the road, he hits something with the drink. And he feels the drink slosh out of his cup and it hits his hand. And instinctively, you know, he took his eyes off the road and looked down at the Coke and he managed to put the drink back in 
its cup holder. And then when he brought his eyes back to the road, there was a deer in the middle of the road. He was too close to swerve out of the way. And so at full speed, he smashes into this deer. The deer hits his front windshield and basically caves in the passenger side windshield. The one thing that blows me about evolution YouTube, I don't care about no Dunkin' Donuts sponsored ad, bro. Golly, every time I stop this joint, it's gonna happen now. This is what we do, YouTube. This is what we doing now. Every time I stop it, I have to keep. I gotta watch thirty second ads. I can't skip. Now I'm gonna have some. Some random ad pop up every time I stop it. Golly, bro. I understand y'all getting money, but golly. Be blowing me, bro. But let me get straight back into it, bro. One thing that be blowing me about evolution, especially the, with these deers, they have not evolved, like, genetically. Like, no genetics have been passed down for their brain to not get, like, they brain can't, like... They brain can't even like process what's happening once they get hit with them blinders. They just They just be looking at you. And they get smacked. Or they don't get smacked, then you gotta swerve out the way and put your life at risk. It be blowing me. That be like I ain't never had a deal run in front of me, and you know I mean I hope it stays that way. But yo. I'd be pissed if I'm driving a dip. And he get up and run away. I'd be mad at hell with my car all messed up. Smoke coming out the front. Mirror, mirrors, glass all bro I'd be mad. And flips up and over the back of his car. And Nestor, amazingly, was composed enough to not swerve wildly post-impact because he knew if he did that, he could run into oncoming traffic or something. And so he just kept on going straight and gradually slowed down and pulled off the side of the road. And as he did, he looked over his shoulder, seeing if this deer was basically lying in the road or even worse. Maybe Where that deer probably the gone? Car. But when he looked over his shoulder, the road was clear. There was no that. That be saying that deer got up and just ran away. Up at this point, I mean, he just had this horrible car accident with this deer, and he's already on edge about getting pulled over by police. But for the moment, it was just peaceful on the highway. You know, no cops were coming up to him, and he's pulled over to the side. You know, physically he was okay. You know, it seemed like the deer was okay. It clearly ran off the road or something. And there was damage to his car. I mean, the deer really smashed in the front of his car, and the windshield, especially on the passenger side, was basically caved in. But Nestor was able to see through his side of the windshield, and when he put the car back in drive and hit the gas, the car seemed to drive just fine. And so even though Nestor felt kind of bad that he had smashed this deer, he thought, you know, what am I going to do? Go find the deer and make sure it's okay? Like, he can't really do anything. It's nighttime. And so he made the decision that, you know, nobody saw this. Are you, are you it seems like everything's okay, so I'm just going to drive home. And I mean, aren't you supposed to report that? Tomorrow. But after driving 38 more miles oh. from the impact site, Nestor's car began making this horrible rattling sound. Bro, you was 38 miles out the way? Where the heck was you at? You drove an extra 38 miles plus you was already driving for a while, bro. Oh my god. YouTube. Nobody cares about these ads that much. I promise you, big bro. I promise you, big bro. Nobody cares about these ads that much, big bro. From the engine, and also smoke began to. Every blow time up. I'm gonna hit this pause button now, it's so rap. knew, you know, this is so conspicuous. He's gonna get pulled over if he doesn't stop. And so, feeling really annoyed because he was actually pretty close to home at this point, Nestor pulled off the highway and came to a stop in a parking lot of a fast food restaurant. And so, at first, all Nestor did was just turn off his car and wait for a couple of minutes in hopes that that, that would eight? be enough What's that? What to was he at? his car. But after a couple of minutes, you know, the smoke continued to billow out of his car. And then when he tried to turn it back on again, the car simply wouldn't start. And so at this point, Nestor knew he had to call a tow truck. But when he reached for his phone, his phone was dead. And he didn't have a phone charger in his car. And so he's like, great, I can't even call a tow truck. Bar, then pay he attention to your phone battery, the restaurant bar. was open, and he decided he would just go in there. And he would ask one of them if they had a charger. So Nestor gets out of his smoking car, oh my walks into the restaurant, he goes up to the counter, and he asks the person behind the counter, like, hey, you know, my phone's dead. Do you have a charger? Do you mind charging my phone? But the employee, they didn't say anything back to Nestor. 
They just stood there with their mouths open and their eyes wide, staring at Nestor, like they couldn't believe what they were looking at. And so Nestor's thinking, like, what's wrong with this person? You know, hey. Bro, no, nah, I can't even pause it, bro. Does he have, like, deer blood on him? At this point, as pale as a ghost, just shook their head at Nestor. Like, no, they don't have a charger. And then they just stood there, still staring at Nestor. And so now Nestor is genuinely just furious. I mean, the whole night has completely derailed. He got to have, like, deer All blood on him or something. get home, and it's like one horrible thing happens after another. And so Nestor was just like, okay, fine. Unless he got around, impaled and he don't even know it. Back to his car, thinking maybe if I search the whole vehicle, you know, there's bound to be a charger in there somewhere and so Nestor gets back into his car he climbs into the driver's seat he shuts the door and as he begins looking around his car for this charger he begins to feel really sleepy and actually he eventually just kind of leans forward and falls asleep in his car more than, more than two hours boy they gave me another ad for 30 seconds I couldn't but my conclusion is my conclusion <laughs> my conclusion is when he got in the accident, that boy must have smacked his head and woke himself back up instantaneously. And he's leaking from it. How do you not know you leaking from your head, though? Let's see what happens. Nestor woke up to the sound of somebody tapping on his window. And so Nestor groggily turned and looked, and it was like the worst case scenario. It was, it was the oppers who was shining his flashlight into the vehicle, clearly gesturing for Nestor to roll his window down. And so Nestor was totally compliant. He rolled the window down and he looked at the officer. And before Nestor could even say anything, the officer said, get out of the car. So Nestor, he gets out of the car and he's thinking to himself, you know, why is he acting so <coughs> aggressively towards me? Like, what have I done here? And so Nestor, you know, he gets out of the car. And again, before Nestor can ask any questions, the officer just says to Nestor, what happened tonight? Like, what's going on here? And so Nestor, you know, he knows his car is jacked up and here he is sleeping in the parking lot. And so he turns to the officer and begins explaining the deer story. You know, he was driving down the road, he hits this deer, you know, it went over the top, he didn't see it, he didn't report it. And as he's telling the officer this, he's thinking, oh my gosh, like, is there a law? Like, if you hit a deer, are you supposed to report it? Is that what's going on? Maybe the deer did die and it was in the middle of the road and somebody saw his license plate and now the cop was here. And so Nestor began to panic, you know, trying to explain the logic behind leaving the deer and how sorry he was, he should have stopped. He should have called the police, but the officer finally just put up his hand, telling Nestor to stop talking. And then the officer took his flashlight and he shined it past Nestor at his car. And when the officer did that, the officer immediately grabbed his radio and began barking orders into it, saying he needed backup. And so Nestor's like, what is going on here? Like this whole night has been such a disaster. Like, what did I do? And so Nestor, he turned to see what the cop was looking at on his car that would elicit such a big response from him. And when he looked at the passenger seat of his car, where the cop's light was now shining, Nestor froze for a second and then just started to scream. It would turn out that even though Nestor believed he had only had, you know, a few drinks and he was okay to drive, the reality was he was completely annihilated drunk and should never have been behind the wheel. Boy, boy, what did I say? Anxiously trying to get home. Well, he didn't hit a deer. He hit a 45-year-old pedestrian named Terry. You mother freaking, you mother freaking McChicken boy, you mother freaking McChicken, what did I tell y'all? Stop drinking and driving, they tell you not to do this. Stop drinking and driving. Golly, Johnson, it's not that hard. If you're going to drink, don't drive. If you're going to drive, don't drink. What don't y'all get about that? I'm tired of these... How do people drinking and driving, bro? You put people's lives at risk. You thought it was a deer? A deer? How you think this young boy was a deer? Don't even make sense. I want to know why he was out in the middle of the road, though. Let's find out. Ivory, and he hit this guy with so much force that Terry went through the windshield on the passenger side and then landed in the passenger seat, minus one leg, which had been severed on impact. And then Terry's dead body sat there in the passenger seat with. Nah, big bro. Yeah, you're GG's. You're GG's. You was worried about getting put over by the state cops and all this stuff. GG's. I'll make sure it's still Yeah, GG's, big bro. GG's. You didn't know you had a whole body right next to you? Come, GG's, bro. You were worried about all this and all that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look what you did now. Look what you, you drove 38 miles 
with a dead man next to you. Blood splattered all over you. That's that's what they had to have seen. Yo, this is what I be saying. Like, it be the simplistic stuff in life that you don't have to do. You know the rights and wrongs, and you chose to do the wrong. You chose to go out. You chose. Look, you you knew you was going out. You knew there could be possibility that you drink. You knew that you you probably like drinking. You out here over drunk. You thought you was good. Nah, but Big Bro was drunk. And like, hey, 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 hey. Whoever his friends was, y'all let Young Blood, y'all just let him leave like that? He lit? I'm not letting my man get up in no car after drinking. That's not happening. I'm going to tell him he going to sit right here and he going to sober up. I don't care how long it take. You going to sober up. Well, you catching an Uber home. Or I'll drive you home. You know why? Because... I'm the sober one. Yo, we back, yo. I told you. I, I'm not sure I moved too much. Whole joint going. Whole thing. Everything is shut down. You're still recording. But, like, everything blacked out. The camera turned off. Mic turned off. I promise you nobody cares about this. But, yeah, back to it. Yo, it's the simplistics. You know right from wrong. Stay on the, the side of right. Stop doing wrong. This all could have been avoided. If he didn't drink too much. He walked it off. He sobered up. Literally sobered up. Not, oh, I think I'm so No, literally sobered up. No matter how long it took. Stop being stupid. Do the right thing. You know what to do. I'm talking to y'all. Y'all know what to do. You know right from wrong. Stop doing wrong. Do right. Keep complaining about things in your life and how things are going bad. Start doing things right. And the thing that be blowing me, feel like, I'm doing things right. I'm tired of seeing... Bad people da 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 be able to do things and they're living their best life. Right, bro, big bro, big bro. What type of life do you want? Do you want a life of bad and having that worry? Oh, I could get caught in this life of good and not have to worry. Hey, it's your choice, big bro. I'm choo- I'm choosing the right side, bro. I'm choosing the right side. I'm not I'm not choosing the wrong side. I'm not trying to do that, bro. I'm not trying to do that. It's, nah. But as always, man, let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Hit like, hit, 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 hit like on the video if you like the video. Hit like on the video if you like the video. You heard it. Hit subscription if you want some more content. You know what I mean? Other than that, we're gonna see you on the next one, man. Y'all be safe, stay productive, stay hydrated, stay all that good stuff. We're gonna see you on the next one. Deuces.